Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Conversation with History. I am Fekla Wilkie. Last week, we brought you a guest who took us down memory lane, touching on the ties that bind. Our guest is a teacher. He's an administrator. He's a politician and an elder statesman. Our guest has served in different capacities at both state and national levels. Most notable is his ministerial appointment under the President Olusegun Obasanjo-led administration. He became a member of the Arawa Consultative Forum and holds the traditional title of Damasinin Daura in the Daura Emirate Council. He had so much to say last week and he obviously has so much to spill. It is noteworthy to state that views and opinions expressed by guests and participants on the program do not necessarily represent the position of the NTA. That said, let's bring you the concluding part of Conversation with History with Sunny Sango Dara. See you on the other side. government and uh, you understand the system obviously even in and out of government you understand the system and you're still in tune with you know trends and happenings in in the country so the next question will be how do we tackle because this whole thing boils down to corruption how do we tackle corruption <laughs> such that <laughs> I like the way you're laughing <laughs> now Anybody who is good, anybody who is going to fight corruption, as Mr. President said, if you don't fight corruption, you don't kill it, it will kill you. This statement was made by General Hyde, who was known to be a hundred percent, though a human being, his integrity is, 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 is quite unquestionable, is worth established, is known, accepted by his friend as well as his enemies. But unfortunately, even now, if we are telling the truth, you are quite most of them will not like you. They will say, this is a madman. When they, when they see you coming, they say, oh, no, shut up. Don't allow her to, to hear us. But we believe Zalunchi, I don't know how to quote it in English will never last. Mm. And that is our belief in, in, in Islam. Anybody who is tyrant, anybody who is embezzler, anybody who is cheating a thief, eh, their end, it will, not, it will not last. So you have taken it to the religious uh, yes. perspective. Yeah. So but now, you know, it, it, the people would say that one of the biggest problems we have in this part of the world, I'm not talking of Nigeria alone, <laughs> Africa, yeah. is religion. Well, yes, because well, what but, we cannot but, understand, but, but, what we cannot daughter, solve, what we my, cannot, my daughter, we just throw my daughter, it at religion. My daughter, what? When you don't have an immediate answer, you have to cite <laughs> those things. Because you know, things are not, are not good. I know things are not good. But even if you talk, you talk, you talk, you talk, maybe the, uh, the tyrants would be after you. So do you have a solution to tackling I, corruption? Yes, I said, well, we have put, we have institutions. They are not allowed to work. They are not allowed to work. You understand? Hmm? Look at our corruption fighters. Since the formation of EFCC, take from the first one, we saw who? Rivado. He started doing very well. He indicted 30 sitting governors. Hmm? So 
So even if he indicted them, where he cannot do anything, he says to court. Hey? If he takes them to court, he has no hand anymore. The courts will release them. Not, outright, uh, not outrightly. Through long and long adjournments. And nobody can call them. Because that is their duty. That is their duty, legally. You, 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 you follow me? I get it. Eh? I get it. There are certain cases I know of this sort of thing. They have been going in court for more than 20 years. So at the time a decision is taken, the gentleman has even forgotten the, the offense. So justice denied, is it? Justice delayed, it's is justice, justice denied. denied. My daughter. Everybody go. They put Farida. Farida also gone. They bring Baku, gone. Baku, Maku, I even called him Chinaka and Chinaka. Do you know Chinaka and Chinaka? By Sunday Giraba. And compromise him. Hmm. Why is he free? They put this young man, very good, well talented, this Baba. Where is Baba now? We are in a vicious circle. Murtala came out, late Murtala, to fight corruption. He fights all the governors. What, but what happened to him? He was killed on the street. So we will continue to put it in the hands of God? Ah. God has given you the ability. God has given you the conscience. has given you everything. Eh? And the procedures, everything is also, is also there. Is for you to execute, good or bad. I want to ask you this question, mm -hmm. and it has to do with the previous conversation we had earlier, which mm -hmm. was, uh, do you think the North on its own can win an election in this country? Yeah. Uh, the provision of the Constitution were there. You cannot win, but you can influence it. Alone, no. Because you have to get 25% of the total votes in 20, cast in, in, in 24 states and 25% in FCT. This is the law. You have to have alliances. Given our peculiar geographical and tribal divides, which particular region will the North naturally align with? Okay, let me, frank, let me be frank with you. The first republic started with NCNC. Because Aolo at that time wanted to go alone. He couldn't make it. So it has, it has got to be a coalition, as, you, as, you, as we have seen. Even that alliance, go and check, collapsed. During Shagari, also, it was done with the, with the NPP. It collapsed. Shagari was rescued by the elements of Nefu, PRP, and elements of Azir Ibrahim from the north to help him. So we do not, to be frank with you, then, when Shehu Yadra came, he collected us, he invited us. He said, look, we want to create a stable country. We should not, the country we should not afford to abandon the Airbus for obvious reasons. So he wanted to go along that first path. But unfortunately, he was killed. Who killed him? Who killed him? Hmm? Abacha imprisoned him on 
suspicion that he wanted to either encourage the anger officers in the army or to answer to the government. In any case, he was a threat to Abacha, and Abacha wanted to continue. So he was arrested. Eventually, he was killed in prison. No, no, no section of this country in democracy, democracy will yet or be elected as president without the active and positive support of the North. Nobody. Even this one. So if the North wants to stretch hand of fellowship, where would they be looking? Is it the I will southwest? Not, I will not, uh, personally, personally. The southeast? If, if I south, had, south? If I had my, if I had, if I had my, if I had my way, I would do it because already Niger Delta was our true and traditional alliance. We will go with them, we will go with the Irobos. I will not, I will not go with the Igbos. I'm speaking honestly from the bottom of my heart. The people who come and kill the African leaders deliberately, in cold blood, deliberately in order to dominate not only the country, but the North entirely. Eh? In addition to make sure that they effect that domination, they also killed all our top military officers. Why? Why shall I go back and fight them? People like me will not. Where does forgiveness come into this? Forgiveness, I'm a human being. I can, you, you don't, you don't, you can forgive, but you will never forget. You can forgive, but you will never, never, never in there forget. A person who cheated you, you will never uh, forget. You can forgive him, but you will never forget. A people who is kind to you, you will never, 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 uh, you, will, you will always be with him. My daughter. It's as simple as that. Do you think there can be true reconciliation? I don't know. I don't know. Because why I'm asking this question is, I'm not talking for myself, I'm, you know, I'm representing Nigerians here. Why I'm asking this question is, these people who actually committed these crimes against a particular sect are dead, long dead. It doesn't matter. And they did it, they generation. did it. They did it they did it deliberately to to bring up to make your, to make their own people dominate the other components of this country. Let me tell you when I was in Kano in 1953, the whole of Kano Sabangeli market was populated by the Igbos. And there were also balloons at that time. One Nigeria, one Nigeria, because they are dominating everything. Hmm. Eh? Then, when they discovered that people like Chisandara has come out, not for the northern Nigerians, not because they hate Ibos or they hate Yorubas, no. We have to start growing. He says to nurture us, he has to bring us up to be at par when things would be free for all. So would this be a case of the sins of the father being visited upon the sons? Well, you are quite right. You are quite, it should not be so. Even in Quran, it should not be so. But we are human beings, my dear friend. I said something good or bad will never be forgotten. It can be for, forgiven, but never, never will be forgotten. And whenever you think about it, it comes up, you become agitated. You become resentful, hateful, mm. my daughter. If we went to this country to succeed, we should allow, we should be, we should be our brothers keepers. If I, if I have a right, something from you, you don't have to see me. You give it to me automatically. But it's not so. You know, I like the way you talk. You're very blunt. Oh, yes. And I want to ask you this question based on that bluntness. Mm. Is it true that, uh, because we've been hearing it, you know, 
people hear it and people argue in pockets and all of that. Is it true that the typical Fulani man never forgives? Go and read what Lord Ligard said. Mm. Don't be quarreled with him. He will never, he will never forgive you. He will oh, forever retaliate. Even if he does not do it today, tomorrow, or when he will do it. Lugat, Lugat said it, write it, he put it, write it. But ironically, the, what, from what you have said, yes, the North and the East, there is some mixed bad blood there between the North and the East. It's, it's, not, it's not some. There is a concrete, indelible, indelible, Eh? Okay? Black spot. And you know when you have a scar, like this one, you never erase it, can you? No. Unless, so, unless you do surgery. It will not, it will not disappear. So till it will show. So can we do a surgical operation to merge <laughs> this? <laughs> the because surgery, the surgery, we're looking at healing. The surgery is, is changing if we can our attitude to see Towards me as your own mother. brother, as your own sister, to also fight for me, for my rights, when my rights are not, not even you to take it away from me. Haven't you seen any form of repentance? I mean, from, since from those where? events happened from the, the Eastern uh, Bloc? No, I have not seen it. Yes. We are put together as a country, yes, by God. Allah knows the wisdom behind it. Today, if you go to Inugu or Ontia, anybody in the, anywhere in the southeast, you don't see a shop belonging to another Nigeria. Whether he's a Christian, whether he's a Muslim, whether he's a, whether he's a African. As long as he comes from the north, no. Go and check. But as you said, here we are because we are broad minded. We are to his level, level of people. We are very accommodating. Eh? But unfortunately, you see, we have some people like me. Allah has given us, has not given us to be in a position of power. Even if we are in far, we are not, uh, uh, we are just advisors. Okay. Now that you have said that, I'd like to take you up on this word called cabal. Who really are the cabals? I don't know. Go and search for them. <laughs> <laughs> Go and search for them. <laughs> search for them. <laughs> because, you know. Some it's a coinage. <laughs> it's a... Uh, is a uh, sort of uh, a figment of uh, imagination, of public imagination. Is it just a, a figment no. of an imagination? Yes, it is. it is. So how would you respond to those who see you as one of the cabals during the well, Mohammed well, Buhari's yes, administration? Yes, as I said to you, is is figment of the imagination. Eh? They can say so. Because I have access, eh? And from time I can advise one or two. Maybe he takes it, maybe he doesn't take it. Myself, if I see a thing, it, it is good. I don't have to talk about it. But if it is something that is correctable, we say, this is done in a bad way. We should do it that way. You know, you were one of those reportedly uh, mentioned in the papers as I one know. of the, yes, I know. One, yes, because of course we read some of these things, uh, and now that we are talking to you, it's a good time to set the record straight. You see, my dear, we have been best of friends from student days. We are we are very close, very very close, and I know him very well. And he knows very well. If you say a thing, I know what he will do, and I know what he will, he will not do. He's a very simple person, but tough. 
if he takes a decision, you can change it. But it was in the Kirin age, <laughs> a, lot, a lot has happened. A lot of bridge has gone down the bridge. So what would be your assessment of his uh, stewardship for the eight years that he served? Anyway, he has not gone, isn't he? Eh? And uh, people now will start assessing whether he has done very well or he's not done very well. What I don't, you? as a friend, I don't have to assess him. I uh, will leave it for people to assess him. As a Nigerian, if you want to be dispassionate, if you want to be dispassionate, not, don't look at him as a friend no, now. Yes, you see, sometimes you cannot, you cannot separate this. Passion and... Uh, <laughs> you can't separate them. You cannot. But you can only minimize. You can only separate, separate it a bit. But you can't take it out altogether, no. Let's go back to that time when you were the Minister for Agriculture and Development, Rural Development. You also served. You were part of government at some time. Uh -huh. Now, looking at, <laughs> you know, <laughs> why are you laughing? It's as if you're preempting. <laughs> it's like you're preempting my question. <laughs> okay, let me let me let, let me just let me put it this way now. How would you assess your own stewardship during your time as a I minister? I will not of assess myself. I always in hindsight. I always leave people like you and other people to assess whether I have done well or I have done very badly, whether I have disappointed people or not. It is, our, it is you who will assess. Were not you me. satisfied with your service, well, service well, donation? Well, absolutely satisfied in one thing that I have never, never collected a single couple from anybody in order to support you. And even with you know this, my colleagues know this. Let's talk about your relationship with Obasanjo. You know, there's one particular one that keeps it. Sometimes when people remember your name, do you know what they remember? <laughs> that you stormed out of a meeting for a particular reason. And the question is, what is your relationship with him? He's my boss. I like him. He's got so many good qualities, as well as bad ones. Eh? So I respect him, and I'm polite to him, and I carry on his carry out his instructions. And your working relationship with him? Oh yes, very nice. But you stormed out of a meeting mm -hmm. one particular that time. That is different. That is different. Was it on principle or just well, convictions? Take 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 it either way. Take. It's you. You are the person now. No, but uh, you are the best. Judges, but he is my boss. I like him. He's a very hardworking person, and he believes in one united Nigeria. It then means that there's reconciliation. Hmm? It then means that there's been reconciliation. Yeah, we have never, we have never parted ways. It's a matter of opinion, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Opinion. If you are convinced you are doing the right thing, you say the bitter truth to the authorities. They will respect you. We are not sacrifices. Even when we go there, we are not sacrifices. Before I served, before I served under him, I served under late Brigadier Makari. I was conscripted in, 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 in his government. I did not ask. I was there working as ADO, a district, district officer in Western Bo. But I stayed here for, for about between eight and nine years. And up to today, we are together with his family. He is dead now, about two, three years ago. It was also alleged that you worked against his third term bid. How true is that? Yeah. Why should I tell? He has, look, when Obasanjo was taken out of prison, was pardoned, and cleaned up. One of his cleaners telephoned me while I was in London. This is this is our project. And because of the three people, we accepted him. 
But even there, Yoruba do not accept him. Myself, Ango, and then Aliu, and quite a few others from 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 uh, from the north. We went when he launched his bid. No from to Rabaki, only drummers. So that is answer your question. We are king makers. We are kings and also king makers. We are kings and also king makers. Nobody will become a president in this country without uh, without Aliwa. Nobody. They know. Okay, my daughter. You know, when I grow up, I want to be like you. <laughs> <laughs>So do you believe in this true federalism that the people preach about? Well, I don't know what they mean by true federalism. They have to explain to us. But I think at first, that was what was uh, practiced at first, because each region had its own constitution. But later on, all these have been abandoned and a national one was created, debated, and then agreed upon, and then pro pro promulgated on. So this um, democracy that we practice today, some have said is, it is rather expensive. What is your opinion about that? My opinion, we should go back to West Minister type. It's less costly and uh, less d divisive. Uh, let me tell you one thing. In 1997, 1997, is it? Am I correct? 77, 1977. 1977. 1977. Yes, 1977. Yes. To 78. I was a delegate to Constituent Assembly where we discussed the draft constitution, prepared, debated and prepared by the 49 wise men, the drafting committee which was supposed to be, to have been headed by late Chief Awolo, but because he was not given advance information or asked, he declined to serve as chairman of the drafting committee. But uh, the William the Law, uh, Wrote me Williams, so became the chairman. So we went for one year to debate. Because at that time, Mutala was, it was the idea of late Mutala Mohammed that Nigeria is a very huge and great country. Mm. And therefore, we should have a strong leader. Hence, he advocated for presidential system uh, copying the American type. So at that debate, during that debate for one year, because that is the direction of the government, most of us felt yes. He's quite right, there must be a strong president, leader for the country, speaking for the whole country. And on behalf of the country, on behalf of the people, for common good. So at that time, late uh, Dr. Tahir came out. He opposed this political system and he told us his reasons. Now we have seen the reasons that it is not suitable for us at all. 
Now, so we went with the presidential system, but there was a lone voice against it. Now, in 1994-95, during the Abacha regime, mm. there was this also, this constitutional <coughs> constitutional conference. I also happen to be a member. Again, the question of this presidential system or Westminster type of government, uh, what do you call it? It's a presidential system, parliamentary. Metric, parliamentary. This question also rose, came up. But unfortunately for the country, still the majority, except Mahmoud Atta and a few others, who also advocated for a return to my parliamentary democracy. Again, there were known voices. Hmm. But today, if I think we would put it to the people a sort of plebiscite, Nigerians would opt to go back to parliamentary system, not presidential system. But it can hardly be changed by, by our National Assembly as well as State Assemblies because they are benefiting. Hmm. Even if some people cry against it because they are the most uh, beneficiary of the system, they will still like the, system, the same system to continue reaping where they have not planted, taking something which they ought to have taken at the expense of their constituencies. And unfortunately, as you said, because of the manipulation of the system, because possibly of poverty, because possibly of ignorance, people do not know their rights. Even if they do, they know, they are not prepared to sit down and fight. Let me tell you one thing, we tried in order to have somewhat, somewhat presence of democracy in our elections. Mr. President Bahari took, I think, made executive orders, two of them, I think, or three. One, independence of state judiciary, financial independence, financial independence of all those state assemblies. Hmm? That will curtail the, the usurped powers, because they, they usurped it by the governors. That will possibly reduce they are local influence so that people will be free to elect their representatives. They took him up to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court, according to them, cited with the, well, cited, uh, cited with the governors. This is another way of curtailing the old, powerful governor who regard themselves as many gods in their respective states. Again, we wanted to see the state INEC should be abolished. Let it be, let that state election to, 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 to state assembly extra be conducted by INEC. Maybe there may be, there may be some sense of responsibility. There may be also 
some freedom of people to be allowed to elect the people they think should be elected by them. All these are reforms which, if done, would bring some sanity in the system, but they refused. So, as you said, why is the solution? <coughs> so I will ask you, because I am now in my evening. You are the young people who are coming up. It is up to you to fight it, to get out of that man-made bondage. Hmm. You know, I, 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 let's go to food security. You were, you know, you were once the Minister for Agriculture. And food security was one of your mandates to ensure that, you know, we attain that level of food security. And over the years, we've been having these heather farmer clashes, you know, people evading uh, farms and people killing cows. So it's been a tug of war between these two very critical um, subsector. How would you address it? Well, first of all, my daughter, when we, when we were together with Okosanjo, uh, myself as uh, Minister of Agriculture and Red Development, do you know our percentage of the total national uh, budget? Minister of Agriculture and Red Development, water resources and environment. These are key for agriculture. The whole budget put together was three and I think percent of the total national budget. It was later when Umaru came that agriculture started to get a lot of boost. And we tried even during our time to create what they have created already, TED fund, fund for agriculture. We take it to council, they agree, but later abandoned. So to cut matter short, it's unfortunate. The local government reforms was really, the main objective behind it, we are also behind it, was to really give the rural population a new lease of life by creating local governments, giving them almost autonomous status, getting the allocation directly from the federal government so that they can take good, responsible people. And I see it to me, hmm. even at that time. And I said it, that to me, local governments are retiring posts for those civil servants who are good and retired at that time they are not looking for anything they are not they are not looking for a new wife they are not looking for a new house they are not looking for a car they are looking for anything so they will come and apply themselves and apply their resources in the best way to develop those areas so that they reduce the rural migration to, into cities or urban centers. That was the main intention, so that they can have good roads, they can hire good engineers, good quality surveyors, their staff in qualification and content would be almost the same with the staff working in the state government. So they will have hospitals, good roads, etc. But unfortunately, along the line, their funds were being have been hijacked by the governors, and they cannot do anything. So um, repeat the, the question: engendering food security. Uh -huh. In the face so, of so, yeah, ha. so when I say, clash. Yes, when I'm talking about local government reforms. So before the local government reforms, 
in our own areas, particularly in the north, under the so-called native authorities, emirate system, there is what we call Gandundaji. There were cattle routes, truck routes. There were grazing areas. There were also watering areas. So at that time, there was no conflict. But when the reforms came, the powers of these emirs were taken away. And somewhere, they were distributed between the state government and local government. So the local government became in charge of land, local government chairman. And many of them at less than 80 years, less than 30 years, some of them are, have not married. So that the civility in them is not there. So they started selling these uh, grazing areas, selling it. Uh, this, uh, this uh, what do you call it, gathered uh, for uh, government forest. Uh, not even de gathering them. They have not, because they don't know. It's part of the law, you have to change it, but they don't know. All these are abandoned. So, hence you get now our cattle rearers. They don't have where to go to rear their cattle or to water them. If you go from here to Kaduna, you will see them, even here in Abuja, you will see them sometimes roaming about, picking the ground that they are able to, to see. So this is the beginning of this conflict. But Jerubhai, when he was there, he directed that all the gazetted uh, grazing areas, watering areas, etc., should be recovered. But whether they have put a, a machinery to do that, that I don't know. So we will continue with this battle until the governors, because in the north we have more than enough forest areas in large sizes which can accommodate most of our cattle rearers, most of our, our cattle floodings. But right now, as I'm talking, there is a postal settlement in Kachia, a very large area, where the floodings are there, their cattle are there, their farms are there, their green areas are there, their voting areas are there. And I think, partly I think somewhere in Kebi. But as I said, depends on the governors. When this was coming on, at one time, I was talking to Baguru, the former governor of Kebri. He said, look, we have to start ourselves to accommodate these people. When people from the south are saying, Fulani is must have been saying, say, go back to your land, go back to your, go, go back to your area. So the question of food security will be really difficult to achieve because the small farmers, now that has been ex uh, re accentuated mm -hmm. by Boko Haram and bandits. Bandits, we don't know about them until recently in all these Nibori. border cool. states. Zampara, Kasana, Sokoto, Kebi. Uh, the only place I think is Jigawa. That is not, that is bad. But these bandits are known, surprisingly, eh? and with, with, despite the government uh, might and resources, they have not been able to be put down. They are known. Taking, taking people, kidnapping people, and saying you have to pay ransom, and the money will be paid. 
and the authority know where they are. You just mentioned that uh, these people are known. Oh, yes. Is it lack of political will to fresh them out and flush them out? Or is it a question of uh, not having the ability to do so? It's unfortunately the whole thing has been commercialized. It's unfortunate and it is true. Our forces, long time ago, not even now, I know Nigerian army is known to be a very good, responsible, hard-fighting force, and they, they were called in many countries for peacekeeping. They are known to be very good. They are known to fight it out and get them and, and win the situation. But at home, because it has been commercialized, we have not been any. We, we have not. We have not. Uh, we have not been able to achieve anything. But there must be sabotage within the forces. There must be sabotage. General Abacha said, "If such kind of insurgent appears, and the government orders to be crushed." And it was not crashed within 24 hours. So there must be something within. somewhere, yes. I, I, I remember that quote. It says, come, when a crisis fester, fester for too long, you know government is involved. Yes. But I, I remember that quote. Uh -huh. There are so many questions that I would love to ask you. Next day, <laughs> we don't have to do that. Yes, I know I, that. I was supposed I know to that. go and uh, pray, but you kept me. Yeah? <laughs> I know that. Yeah. I know. <laughs> so many questions and so keep them. Keep them. When we are alive, we will we'll answer we'll them. We continue to answer. What do you do these days? Are you still active or passive or well, just retired? I'm, I'm not passive. I'm not passive at all. At all. I'm very active, and my brain is also active. In politics, uh, I no no. I well, politics from behind. Yes. When you were growing up as a young man. You had dreams, you had aspirations, and I'm sure that's what probably inspired that resilience, you know, and that affirmative, you know, disposition to social issues that you've carried on up until this time. Now, you had dreams about Nigeria. Would you say those dreams have changed? Do you still believe in that Nigerian dream? Well, you see, well, yes, I would like to see a very strong, united, prosperous Nigeria where nobody is oppressed. But unfortunately, that is not what we are getting. That is not what we are, are getting. But you know it begins with you. Hmm? That dream will begin with you. And it starts from uh, forgiving when, and forgetting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> forgive, yes, you forgive. forgive. My, my daughter, Forget about forgetting. You will never, never forget. Good or bad thing, don't you? You will never forget it. You can forgive, but you will never, never, as a human being, forget it. Because it is done. That is why I, I, I show you I'm out here. And I also told you about surgery. You that surgery, you can correct it. Do, it, it does it, it, doesn't, it, doesn't try. it can clean it up it, it in does. modern day. <laughs> Look at uh, this a shampoo. You call it a, a shampoo? <laughs> this uh, lady. Okay. Uh, this lady was uh, CNN. Which Amampo, one? Amampo, is it? Amampo, oh yeah. Amampo. Christian Amampo. Every time surgery. <laughs> eh? But still, it shows. Eh? But every time, she will go for surgery. Remove this, put this, and everybody knows. So let's even try that one. Let's try something. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is my prayer. Uh, I'm not altogether, uh, but I'm still hopeful. We have to continue hoping because things do change. Sometimes you get some people coming with such ideas of unity 
of brotherhood and sisterhood and promote it and keep to it. And on that note, we want to say thank you so much for being part of Conversation with History. It's been a learning curve for me <laughs> and I'm sure for a lot of Nigerians who have listened to you because at one time you were so feisty at one time you were so passionate. At one time you were, you were, you, I, I saw a technicolor of your emotions, you know, play out. And for that, we want to say thank you for being honest. Thank you for being expressive. Thank you for saying it as it is. Because for you to heal, it starts with truth. And that's why there's something called truth and reconciliation. You've got to say it as it is. And then from there, you can now begin to build, heal, and unite. And so thank you so much for that, uh, for, for, for having us here. Tequila is tackling everything that comes in. Mm. <laughs> you see my, well, you see my impression about you, a uh, very young, resourceful young lady, committed also to your, to, your, to your job. You know how to approach your job. You know how to conduct it. And uh, you make also the interview very lovely, very likable, by sometimes from time to time cracking jokes into it and smiling with their nice teeth. <laughs> so that is also added to the beauty of the interview. It's an excellent idea. Because what we are talking, what I said, I said now, quite a number of Nigerians do not know it. Even my own children do not know it. One, they don't read, they don't even bother to know what happened in the past. Yesterday, <laughs> somebody said, he's a, he, he's a journalist. He came to me. And there was a photograph of Premier. He didn't know who killed Premier. And he's, 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 he's around 50 or even more. So our people, because we don't teach our boys history, they don't know it. But now that it is, it is out, if they happen, if it happens that they, when they are airing it out, they're around and they're interested to listen, so they may benefit. And they may know that, yes, they have, they have learned a lot. So my prayer is that you keep it up and you try to look for old people like ourselves who will look at you or your question and go straight and answer them straight. That will bring some understanding of some issues in the past and possibly try, if there are certain mistakes, to see that they do not do such mistakes, those mistakes are not repeated. It's superb. The interview is superb. And so I want to thank you so much for being part of Conversation with History. It's been a learning curve for me and I'm sure for a lot of Nigerians who are tuned on to the program right now. I want to thank you for sharing your wealth of knowledge. Thank you very much. Thank you so I thank much. Thank you even more eh, for having this interview. Uh, from which I think many people will know a lot of things which they, which they don't know. And so we want to thank you so much for being part of Conversation with History. Until next time when we come up with another guest, like I'd always say, be kind to one another and stay well. And so we do and, the... And thank you very much. <laughs> 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 okay.